Hello, hello. Welcome to my Facebook Live on a Thursday afternoon. Thank you so much for coming and joining me. I really hope that you enjoy my video today. I've got an unboxing to share with you. So, without further ado, here it is. We have coming in, what's this month? March. So coming in March, we have some brand new online exclusive products to share with you and all of us who are in the in the in the club we can order early so i got to order this suite i didn't order all of the online exclusives There's a whole bunch of brand new items coming in march that are online exclusive but i did order this one called um something about zinnias i think simply zinnia here is the step set that is part of the suite. It has, let me hold it up for you, one, two, three greetings and some floral images and some little dotty bits. Okay, perfect for lovely line work for colouring in, whether you're using your stamp and blends or your pencils or watercolour and ink. Okay, so that's a Simply Zinnia Suite. It also has in the suite some dies that go with the stamp set. Let me open up the dies for you so that you can see them. And here's the dies. Oh, don't they look like fun? So there are 15 dies that go with the suite. So obviously outlines for all of those stamped images, those three outlines, and then some more extra florally details, stalk, leaves, and bits and pieces. That looks like fun, doesn't it? Okay, so the Simply Zinnia stamp set and the Simply Zinnia dies that go with it together. And there is also in this suite a Zinnia 3D embossing folder. Let's open that up and have a look. Okay. Probably, I'm not sure how easy it is for you to see the design. It's an all over design, sideways, with lots of flowers on it. Okay, so that's really lovely. And it also has in the suite some sequins. And the sequin colours are, I can't tell, some sort of pink, some sort of green, orange, yellow. Um, lemon, lime, twist, probably. Daffodil Delight, perhaps some mm, petal pink or I don't think it's Calypso Coral and that one probably. Let's have a look at the colours on the back of the paper. That might help us. So on the paper, on every package of paper, you will always see the colours written on the back. So the colours are Berry Burst, Blackberry Bliss, Floaty Flamingo, Highland Heather, Lemon Lime Twist, Lemon Lolly, Melon Mambo, Mossy Meadow, Old Olive, Petal Pink, Pumpkin Pie and Real Red. Okay, so those sequins will be probably Lemon Lolly, Flirty Flamingo, Lemon Lime Twist and I think Petal Pink. But let's have a look at the paper. It's a bright, bright paper. There it is. That's some Pumpkin Pie on the back of that. So there we go, the pinks and the purples. Oh, I like that one. I always love a piece that you can just chop up to make card fronts. Super easy. And that's the same design that there is on the embossing folder. Okay, so very similar design. Right, let's have a look at the back of that. Oh, I love that lemon lime twist. I reveal myself as a green lover at every turn, don't I? Oh, that's a bright, bright floral. And on the other side is petal pink spots. Very nice. Melon Mambo, oh, oh, oh. oh, and some red as well. Well, I will find that hard to use. <laughs> that is stunning. I love that. That's gorgeous. Oh, and that side as well. Old Olive and Lemon Lime Twist, and more of those lovely flowers like the, the other piece, except with the white background and not the pink background. Oh, and lots of purpley tones. There we go. So that's the paper there. Let's put it all back together so you can see. I can tell you my favourites are the green ones. My least favourite is this piece because I'm just so uncomfortable in Melon Mambo. 
it's just really hard for me to use I love this piece here the lemon lime twist and the flowers so that one and that one would be my two favorite pieces so watch this space to see what I create with all of those okay so there's the array of papers in the simply zinnia suite collection that's coming for you in March if you want to get it early you can join my team during celebration this month and you will be able to add that to your order okay so if you do want to get it early and there's lots of other things you can get if you join too early all right now here's something else that's in the online exclusives coming up love these are two-step stamps so you can do your outline with love and then you you fill in your line love you wishing and celebrate i can use them for our scrapbooking you are incredible you did it comfort and strength so wishing wishing you comfort and strength celebrate a peaceful season celebrate a speedy recovery the best day ever the little things happiness that looks like a lot of fun doesn't it and then i don't know why i've got this ribbon but obviously i liked it i think it was from one of the other online suites um, there's another suite in the online exclusives coming in March that is all about coffee and I believe I really love the colours in it because it's all these lovely neutral tones of crumb cake and pecan pie but I would I don't drink tea or coffee I'm a very boring person in many many ways except for card making but I did love that ribbon so I bought that ribbon there and then I think that's everything else oh and i have bought and as i told you i've got two kits to share with you one kit there i'll do that today and then maybe next time i've got another kit so this one is the birthday sparkle kit birthday kits and this kit is called the happy house plants kit i'll open that up very shortly but i also have a couple more things in my box because it's celebration you get free things for every $90 you spend in Australia. So I got free cards and envelopes because they're one of the new celebration things in this month is cards and envelopes. Yay, I love cards and envelopes. They make card making so much quicker. And I also use them a lot when I go volunteering with the oldies because that's the first step done. Some free ribbon. And also another thing that's in the offering this month in the celebration lineup is this paper which if you like fussy cutting you probably will enjoy but i just think it's really really fun paper so this was free in my order because i ordered enough it is called just kidding and it's from the annual catalog um in our annual catalog i think or the mini catalog one of the two just kidding and it has lots of really super cute images let's have a look at these aren't they gorgeous so if you've got a little I know someone who needs to do a little one-year-old card I think we could use a couple of them or oh, some cooking pictures and stripy paper oh this is cool oh, frog hunting ducks hula hooping aren't they? aren't they adorable oh look you've got book corner our little cave slippery dip waterfall and camping pictures oh i might be able to use that for some things like that and lots of kids reading how precious is that and green paper nighttime imagery there's so many oh, lovely ideas i can't wait to get snipping and making paper hearts painting beautiful painting that is gorgeous if you didn't know i used to be an infants teacher i used to be a preschool teacher before i had my own children and after i was a preschool teacher then i was a special school teacher for children with special needs so i am just love love loving these cute they're just it's evoking so many memories of when i was teaching just looking at these gorgeous gorgeous pictures they're so cute all right so I've got lots of crazy ideas flying around in my head now, having seen these, this paper. I, as I said earlier, um, I've been waiting, 
waiting to share this box with you so I haven't opened anything so I'm very excited to share that with you now all right so I'll just put my box out of the way get my box out of the way get all of these goodies out of the way and show you one of these kits so that you can have a look and see what they look like when we put it together hang on just move all of that over there and this and this over there and this and let's get our happy house plants kit out every month stampin up have two kits to share with us brand new kits every month and this kit this time let me move that all beautifully packaged as well in these gorgeous cardboard boxes which you can recycle and I do recycle I use them to carry things in but also you can stick a piece of paper over the top of them and you've got a gift box ready to give to someone straight away so let's have a look and see what this one is I'll just use my so there are four frames in this kit frames that can be either stood up or hung up on the wall and they're all packaged together nicely okay four lovely frames and then in the rest of the kit so that makes up the bulk of the kit in the box there in the rest of the kit is the instructions as always of four little gifts you can use here four little um, well gifts or art deco uh, well, home decor type items okay let's have a look leaves well, and because they're all different I probably need to uh, unlike a card making kit where you have um, repeats of the same thing this kit here has all of the all of the oh, turn it over Julia so you can see got some dimensionals coming in the kit so um, there's the frames to go over the top of my images and hello here is right one printed with the devil's ivy so there's more of that there I probably should be looking at my instructions really there's a printed base for the snake plant or mother-in-law tongue, some monsterio, and that one. So, and then this is my other die cut piece. I really should look at my instructions. Can you remember these plants from when I was a child? The mother-in-law tongue grew all the way along the fence next to Monsterio Deliciosia. It's just a, uh, an enduring memory of my childhood these plants are evoking. Okay, so I've done all my die cutting. Let's look at the instructions and see what to do. Number one. All right, pull out my... Look for the one that's there in the picture. Number one. Okay, for this one I need the square florally pot and these two. Okay, number two is my hanging pot and it has the oval pot and these guys. Number three has this one and the basket. And these plants, my son actually has one of these plants in his place. And number four has this plant and this pot and these leaves. Okay, so there's my supplies. Now my instructions. I'll start from this one first. Because it's the one that's on top. All right, so the first instruction, now this is a bit of a tricky instruction here. It has a picture showing a bone folder and paper so that you can curl your images if you don't have a bone folder you could probably use a pencil or a pen but basically what the picture is illustrating that you just 
curl your leaves around using your bone folder or your pencil or your biro just to give them a little bit of movement and texture okay so that's the first thing and then number two in the instructions is to put some dimensionals on the pot one two three four okay just going to move I don't want to get anything mixed up here so move you over the way right I'm reading the instructions step by step here I'm going to take my dimensionals off the, the backs of my dimensionals look this is such a beautiful kit I right, can put your pot on top of the platform and then um, using this one first they recommend three dimensionals one in the middle there one in the middle here and one in the middle there I can't wait to see how this looks when it's finished and then pop that over there there we go and then this one a dimension on the middle there and a dimension on the middle there and that one goes over the top that's the first one finished and then when you go to frame it what I think you will do is pull the back off your frame pull the back out like you do any normal frame and then oh this must have well you can't have that over the top it must have something stuck on it surely but what you can do if you're not going to use that is to leave your texture on your picture okay just bend my things a bit more here We'll fold them back and then picture number one done doesn't that look lovely okay let's do the next one and then we'll have this whole kit done in speedy time okay once again the instructions are to gently curve these with your you could even curve them with your fingers as well too you can um, just sort of scoop your, your nail along the edge not that I have a nail but just curl it along like that there okay all right so now step number two after curling those is to put some Dimensionals on the back of my pot and pop you down there. Put the long tall ones in next. A few dimensionals on the back of each of those. I'd be interested to hear what your favourite plant is out of all of these. These are all great indoor plants. They all and um, all quite tropical too really so we have them here where I live in Queensland all all quite common for me okay so that one goes there and then the last one one there and one there this one goes over here think there we go so there's the second one done now the hanging plant one is next oh which way do I go this way once again curling around my little plants around it is easier and smoother with a bone folder just have to be careful you don't tear the, the little leaves all right this one's a hanging plant a couple of dimensionals on the pot and 
pop you down here, lining you up with the, the chain there. Okay, and then some dimensionals on the backs of these. We have one of these. My husband has one of these in his office at work. Just to Okay, so pop that one up like that, and then this one. And this one goes over that way. There we go, number three. And then the last one is this pot. The old snake plant. We have one of these in my bathroom. It's actually very happy there in the bathroom, but it just goes to show it's not really a very bright bathroom, it just goes to show how tough this plant is. It can grow anywhere. It's almost impossible to kill. Okay, one there and one there. Right, put the tall one at the back and then the short one at the front. There we go. All right, so we've done all the instructions and then all I have to do is frame them. And there is even instructions for framing all of these. So there you go. So pop them on there. Don't they look lovely? Which one's your favourite? I won't go to all the trouble of framing them all for you. Let's just line them up so you can have a look. One there, one there. Which one is your favourite? The pothos or the snake plant? The ficus or the monsteria? Which one's your favourite? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so, so much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye now.